when it comes to cutting out your parts from your phone, it's important to have a cutting mat underneath for a start so you don't damage your table. Um, there are two methods that people typically use for, for doing this. Um, the way I tend to prefer to use is I use this stuff. Uh, it's called spray mount and it is it basically you spray it onto the rear face of your parts and you normally leave a border. You can just see there's about five mil, uh, five millimeter border around the edge. Um, and once that's dried, which is this one has, you stick the whole thing down to the paper, to, to the foam, sort of like that. So the whole thing is stuck down. And the, the beauty of spray mount is that you can peel it off quite easy. The drawback is is that uh, it stays forever sticky. So if you want to save your parts for, for making replacement parts, you have a you have an issue. Uh, the other method, which uh, is quite a, uh, uh, acceptable, it's not. It, I don't think it's quite as accurate. But, um, is is if you cut um, some holes into into the middle of your your template. So that's actually the that speed controller cut out, and here's the servo. Um, and then maybe if just a, a few sort of random random squares, random shapes in the middle of it. This is a, a quick and dirty technique. Now there's a reason for that is, it's about holding the paper still on the phone. So if I use now some masking tape, some masking tape over the holes this uh, piece can stick down to the phone without the need to buy spray glue but the edges are Prone to sort of sticking up. I, I think if you sort of pin pin down the straight edges, where you can just cut straight through them. It can help. But uh, as I say, I prefer to use the spray mount. Of course, the other one is to is to print them out on card, cut them out, and then draw around them. So, anyway, the, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just to make it easier to work on my piece of foam. So I'm cutting out a healthy margin around that piece, and then using a straight edge as a guide careful with my fingers, I extend the knife out as well, that helps me a lot with the position of the knife like this, you see. And then do it in about three cuts, gently, one, two, three. You don't need to force the blade through. And try and hold the knife as, as vertical as you can so you're not sort of leaning the, the blade over at all. That all helps a lot too.
very important to have a fresh blade when you begin every new plane because uh, they get it's a strange thing because even though foam is the majority of, of it is air bubbles it's amazing how quickly the blades dull Careful not to go over the lines when you're cutting a slot like this. It's important to stop at the edges. Or stop before the edge is better. Oops, that's a bad cut. So there we have it. And of course, when these, as soon as these are finished, you can peel the the paper off. So that's technique number one. Technique number two is where you don't where you don't have any spray glue. You're just using masking tape. Let's just cut out the foam. And again, you just, it's worth just pressing it down so you set the ruler on. work your way through it, leaving the bits with the masking tape on till last, obviously because you don't want the paper to move. And then finally the speed controller slot. <clears throat> and then the servo slot. The, uh, that piece and of course by the time you've cut it all out in theory it just pulls away just a little bit of masking tape left to hold it still and that's it that's easier to reuse I suppose because it's not so sticky you can always put a bit of tape on the holes on the reverse side um, 
so two different methods, one using a spray mount, one without. Um, and so I recommend you go and give it a go. And remember, fresh blade, uh, watch yourself with the knives and, um, and yeah, enjoy yourself.